Okay, so today we're going to use the air tracks again for conservation of energy. What we're going to do is we're going to work in a ramp with only one photo gate today. That photo gate will measure the velocity of anything passing through it. And what we're going to do is we're going to once again use an air track for a frictionless surface, and we're going to find the velocity at the bottom. We're going to find the velocity two different ways. One is experimental. We're going to put this at a set spot, turn on the air, And when that flies through, it'll tell me how exactly how fast it was traveling as it passed through that photo gate. I'm going to do that a series of times at that height, and then take an average to find my experimental value of the velocity at the bottom. It'll just be the average of all those times. Um, of note, sometimes all of those are exactly the same. If they are, make taking the average really easy. We'll see if they are. I haven't taken the data yet. Now, for theoretical, as I said, we use conservation of energy. You see, when this thing was at the top, and I'm going to walk around real fast. Wait, I started with this not moving. That means it had no kinetic energy, but it had potential energy. To measure the potential energy, I'm simply going to measure how high the car is right here. When it goes to the bottom and passes through this photo gate, it still has some height off the table. There's still potential energy. To find the potential energy, I'll just need to measure the height of it right down here. But the total energy must be conserved. That means the total energy at the top must equal the total energy down there. But down there it's moving, so it's kinetic. And so I can say the energy here equals the energy there, and use that to try to find the velocity at the bottom. Now, as I said, I'm gonna do this a few times at each height. Um, I'm also gonna do it for three different heights. To change the height, I'm just gonna use this jack and just find some different heights. I'll be getting the data again, but that's what's going on. You're going to analyze it. Um, once again, look at the PowerPoint for more details on what the hell is going on. Have fun.